if there were nuclear documents in that, is that justified, the FBI going to get it? And also, you say that the, um, Donald Trump has more classified information in his head. The Mar-a-Lago is also a public club, so should those documents be in that space, written down for perhaps people to access? So this is a great question. I'm glad that you asked it. So uh, I, I have served on the Strategic Forces Subcommittee in the Armed Services Committee for 20 years, including being its chair and ranking member. It depends on what the nuclear information is. Uh, you can say nuclear weapons, but there are things that are highly, highly classified. There are things that are, are not extremely classified, but, but are nonetheless classified. Um, the other aspect with respect to, uh, to access is we don't know what those documents are. I mean, I'm asking the same question you are. Attorney General Garland, <laughs> Director Ray, if these things rise to the level of national security threats to which there's an immediate need to enter the residence of a former president, um, the um, uh, you know, perhaps future candidate of president, the, the person who is, you know, has run against uh, Garland's uh, boss, uh, you know, that should have a higher level of scrutiny, right? And, but just tell us. Uh, I'm asking the same questions you are, and if there are rational answers for it, then he needs to come to this committee, disclose what the classified information is, disclose what the national security threat is, so that we know.